All right. Do you remember the song that we start with? Every time we come to circle, come and join me, come and join me on the rug, on the rug. Hold your hands together, hold your hands together in your lap, in your lap. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Montessori Children's House class Zoom. Guess what? I have a new month. Sorry about Mommy, that. Why you... I have a new month to show you. Look at our new month. There are no numbers on there. We are in the month of April. So glad to get out of March and into April. And you know what? I'm going to write down this number and I bet, I bet all of you know what number I'm putting down. Okay. It is Wednesday, March 1st. What? Did you know it's April Fool's Day? All of you kids might have to play a little trick on your mom and dad today. It is uh, Wednesday, April 1st. Mm. All right. I'm going to attempt to grab my iPad. Let's take it over to the window. A lot of movement here. Okay. Look outside my door. I see a tree. You know what I see though? I see some clouds out there, but I do see the sun peeking a little bit through the clouds. I do think we are supposed to have a nice day again today. So hopefully all of you were out enjoying the beautiful spring day yesterday. I know I got out again, got to see some sun. All right. So we talked yesterday about the farm. That is our theme. And parents, um, we do a lot of what's called practical life. You see probably a lot of your children uh, every day go to, our, go to our practical life shelves. And it's just, it's very simple things. You can use anything from home. So when I went up to school this morning, I found two really awesome glasses. You know what's fun about these glasses? They have farm animals on them. Look, is that a pink pig? There's a cow. I think there's some, some ducks in there too. Yep, there's a duck. So I found two just alike. It, you don't have to have glasses or cups that are just alike. But then I also found some farm animals. That's cool. And basically what practical life is, it's just something that you would do, anything you would do around the house, pouring, spooning, tonging. But for this lesson, I'm gonna pour all of my little farm animals into a cup, okay? Back and forth. The children really enjoy listening to the sound of these animals hitting the side of the cup, okay? but you can use anything. You can use rocks, you can use pasta, beans, rice, whatever. It's very therapeutic and they also like getting it into the glass without spilling. You know, that's kind of the, the whole idea of it so that they don't spill and they get really good using their hands and they build muscles in their hands. Okay, so we talked about farm animals yesterday. We talked about some of the sounds that they make. And I am going to attempt to show you some things that I found kind of from my backyard even. Okay, this is gonna be, okay. Farm animals all have their own little habitat. Certain things they like to live on, maybe like to eat. I found a lot of animals. Wait, I wanna show you something. Look what I found at our school. I found a barnyard with lots of animals. Okay, so for a habitat, I found um, a divided tray like this, okay? And I'm gonna show you some of the things that I'm gonna put into this tray that maybe some of our farm animals might like to live um, the type of uh, ground that they like to live on. Let's start with, how about some grass, okay? Now, 
you can use grass from your backyard, but I found some Easter grass in my house in a bucket and I'm gonna put that grass right in here, okay? Now, what animal might you think would go into that grass? Well, I think, huh, I think a cow might go into that grass. So I'm gonna put him right there. I'm gonna put a baby cow with me. This is where this gets a little tricky. There's my cow in the grass. Hmm, what else did I find? I found a pig. Two pigs. You know, pigs are very, very dirty. Very, very dirty. They kind of like to roll around in dirt and sand. So I was able to find some sand. I'm gonna take the sand out. I'm gonna smush it in my tray. Okay, and I'm gonna get my pigs in the tray. Trying to show you guys, there we go. There are my pigs in the sand, my cows in the grass. All right, how about some chickens? I have a feeling that Mrs. Hansen's chickens maybe like some corn. So I found some corn. I'm gonna put some corn. And the chickens are gonna hang out right here in the corn. I'm gonna show you again. Whoops. Having a hard time. There we go. There's my chickens in the corn. All right. Um, you know what? I think the sheep like to live in, uh, roam around in some dirt. So I found some dirt out of a plant in my backyard. I'm gonna throw some dirt in there, put my sheep right there. Okay, we're getting there. My habitat is filling up. Show you a little bit better angle. Okay. And then I found some straw. What do you think might eat hay? How about a horse? A horse might eat some hay. Okay, one more time and then we have one more left. See our habitat? Okay, one more thing. Got some water. Making a little mess here. I'm gonna pour some water right in the middle. I'll show you in a bit. I'm gonna put these little blue jewels in there because I am going to stand up My ducks, you know, a lot of ducks like to live in lakes, rivers, they like to swim around. I'm gonna put my ducks in here. There we go. All right, boys and girls, we just made our very own, I'm trying to, our very own farm habitat. All the way around. Put all those animals. So you know what? You could probably do that at home if you'd like. I used grass for my cows. I used sand for my pigs. I used corn for my chickens. Dirt for my sheep. Hay for my horses. And water for my ducks.
There they are. Mrs. Rafferty, the question is, do, is there a farmer for the farm? Do you have a farm? <laughs> That's funny. I think I just saw that pop up from Savannah's mom. Um, you know what? I Maybe wish the that farmer. I was on the farm. I love the farm. Um, there is not a farmer. Absolutely not. But you know what? Maybe I could try to find one. Yesterday I had a farmer for my felt board story. Um, but today I don't have a farmer. But you guys, if you, you know, even if you don't have the animals at home, you probably could um, print some off and cut them out and just go find your own habitat. Go out in the backyard and look around. You have lots of things that are out there that you could put the animals um, on. Maybe what you could do is make your own and tomorrow when we Zoom time, you could show us what you have come up with. And also, you know what? We forgot to talk about the white. I mean, we, we can go back on. We can be done recording, but thank you for joining Zoom time today, kiddos.